What do you care about? When you get together with your family and friends, what do you talk about? What do you believe in? What if what was most important to you had to stay hidden? You couldn't talk about it at work or school. You weren't allowed to meet with people who thought like you. You couldn't get into your dream school or get a loan to grow your business because of what you believe in. What if because of what you care about, you could be taken from your home, imprisoned, even killed? For nearly 80% of the world's population, this is true. Almost 80%. More than 70 years ago, Eleanor Roosevelt and leaders from around the world met together to draft a declaration to protect human rights so that the horrors of World War II might never happen again. They drafted the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights. The declaration was unanimously approved by countries from around the world, from Afghanistan to Egypt to China to the United States, Pakistan, and France. Article 18 of that declaration states, Everyone has the right to freedom of thought, conscience, and religion. This right includes freedom to change your religion or belief, and freedom, either alone or in community with others, in public or private, to manifest your religion or belief in teaching, practice, worship, and observance. Countries from around the world ratified this declaration to protect what you care about. To acknowledge that you were born with the right to believe. Or not believe. To be able to bring your unique perspective to your school, your community, and to your place of business. Numerous studies show that freedom of belief produces more inclusive, peaceful, and prosperous communities. But nearly 80% of the world's population today doesn't have that freedom. Eleanor Roosevelt said, human rights documents carry no weight unless. The people know them. The people understand them. The people demand that they be lived. No, understand, understand and, and demand. demand that all of us have the right to live what we believe. believe.